<laughs> yeah, beauty. 3.2. I'm at Telstra headquarters in Sydney and this is Australia's fastest phone, the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Let's see how fast it is with 5G. And this 5G includes millimetre wave and if you look to the top left of the phone, just at the back there you'll find the Telstra mini cell. Now this cell can operate over a couple of hundred metres in the wild, but inside in these conditions you expect a really good speed. Look at that, how good is that? The future is here. But what about on Sydney Harbour in the wild? This is what's most interesting to me and to anyone else out there who wants speed on the go. And as you can see here, these tests are regularly pushing around two gigabits a second, two and a half gigabits per second. Yesterday, I didn't get to the three gigabits per second, but I'm sure I will at some point. Yeah, baby, go for it, go for it. Nice. Two, three, two, four. That was my top speed yesterday, but looking at my log, I had faster speeds previously. But it's more important to see how the phone operates in real world examples. So I sent myself a link to a corporate video that I cut. So I started it, then I accidentally started it again. So I'm downloading dual 2.25 gigabyte files. And I was really impressed that those two files, close to five gigs, only took two minutes, 13 seconds to download onto the Pixel 6 Pro. But the other important test as we start to travel again is the airport download. So you're just about to get on the plane and you need to download a movie. So I tried that with Heat and it's a 761 megabyte download from Netflix and it took one minute 14 seconds to download. Okay, not bad if you're about to jump on a flight. So how does it rate against the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is 5G but not millimeter wave capable here in Australia? So the file size is actually slightly larger on Netflix for heat. It's 845 megabytes when you download it to your phone. So it took one minute, 52 seconds. So the Pixel 6 Pro was 38 seconds faster for the download of heat from Netflix. Of course, it should be faster, but it's not a whole lot faster, especially when you take into account that the file size was larger on the iPhone. My advice is not to run around all day doing speed tests because each time you do it, it will cost you three gigabytes out of your data allowance. There aren't too many millimeter wave sites in Australia across Telstra, Optus and Vodafone. But this is the first time we've seen it working in the wild thanks to the Google Pixel 6 Pro. So should you be blown away by these numbers? Well, yes and no. Because two years ago, I got these speeds in an Oppo Reno 5G test. This is not millimeter wave, but it was still close to two gigabits a second. So we're getting that sort of speed right now with millimeter wave, what's the difference? Well, the big difference is in the wild, many more users can connect and get that speed at the same time. So that's the great thing about 5G. Lots of different channels at the same time. And it will only get faster as we go along, as it gets tweaked and we get more mini cells out there. You might have noticed that we've only been talking download. Upload still remains an issue when it comes to handheld devices. So you're still going to get less than 100 megabits a second, maybe higher. I've got some occasions when I'm over 100 megabits a second. So is the Pixel 6 Pro worth getting for its speed capabilities alone? Well, it really depends where you work and if you travel a lot. So as we start to open up our borders again in Australia and fly, millimeter wave access to the airports will give you incredibly good speeds. So that's one thing if you tick the box. The other thing is if you work in the city, in and around these areas like Circular Quay in Sydney, there are other places in a state, then you'll also get the benefit as well. But if you never go through these areas and you never plan on traveling to a built up area, then there's not much point getting this phone because of that. But there are many other reasons to get the Pixel 6 Pro or the Pixel 6, and I'll be covering that over the next couple of days.